Our time of confession is prompted by Psalm 14. Psalm 14 reads this way. Fools say in their hearts there is no God. They are corrupt. Their deeds are vile. There is no one who does good. The Lord looks down from heaven on the human race to see if there are any who understand, any who seek God. All have turned away. All have become corrupt. There is no one who does good, not even one. Do all these evildoers know nothing? They devour my people as though eating bread. They never call on the Lord, but there they are, overwhelmed with dread, for God is present in the company of the righteous. You evildoers frustrate the plans of the poor, but the Lord is their refuge. Oh, that salvation for Israel would come out of Zion. When the Lord restores His people, let Jacob and rejoice and Israel be glad. Let us pray. Father in heaven, as we look at this world around us, and as we examine our own hearts, when we are honest with ourselves, when Your Holy Spirit works within us to reveal truth to us, then we can see that apart from You, we too are corrupt. We too deny You, O God. We too do deeds that are vile. We can certainly see that this world is full of people who do evil people who do not have understanding, people who do not seek God, and that left to our own devices, we too would be among them, turning away, becoming corrupt, doing no good, but only evil. Lord, it is even true that though You have worked salvation in us, we are not yet fully what we will be. And there are still times where, like Paul, we cry out in frustration for we do the things that we do not wish to do. And we do not do the things which we wish to do. Instead, we struggle. And sometimes we fall into temptation and sin. And so, Lord, this morning, we pray that You would hear us as we confess before You and together in one spirit in our hearts as we confess silently to you those ways in which we have sinned in this past week, in this day, in this hour, in this moment. Lord, please hear our prayer. Lord, forgive us. Bring us salvation through Your Son, Jesus. Thank You for Your salvation through Jesus. In His name we pray. Amen. 
Our words of assurance come from Matthew chapter 3, verses 13 to 17, and Psalm 118, verse 24, which we heard just at the call to worship. Matthew 3, verse 13 to 17 says this, Then Jesus came from Galilee to Jordan to be baptized by John, but John tried to deter him, saying, I need to be baptized by you, and do you come to me? Jesus replied, Let it be so now. It is proper for us to do this, to fulfill all righteousness. Then John consented. As soon as Jesus was baptized, he went up out of the water. At that moment, heaven was opened, and he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and alighting on him. And a voice from heaven said, This is my Son, whom I love. With him I am well pleased. In Psalm 118, verse 24 again, The Lord has done it this very day. Let us rejoice today and be glad. Brothers and sisters, the salvation that the psalmist pleads for in Psalm 14 is found in the Jesus with whom God the Father is so well pleased. This is what God has done this very day. And so today, we rejoice in His salvation for us. Let us continue in song. Please rise and let us sing together. <laughs> 